On day one, I spawned in as a baby elemental tiger. Whoa. In front of me was my mother and my very own tiger outpost. My own baby boy, you are very special. Really? Just then, I noticed that I had five different elemental abilities, such as fire, earth, ice, water, and lightning. Because I was still small though, these powers were very weak. Man, I have a lot to learn. Just then, an explosion took place in our home, caused by a small black cat. Yes, my robots, take this colony down. It is time to rule the feline to prove that I am more than just a house cat. I watched as the robots rushed in and started to weaken my tiger tribe. And with one button, he sent out a shockwave that turned many of the tigers into tiny, harmless cats. Son, follow me now. I followed my mother and she led me to a small exit. Mom, what's going on? Shadow, he's found this place. You must go master the elements to stop this. Before I could ask any more questions, my mom was shot and transformed into a small cat as well. Mom, no! Knowing that I had to save my people, I left through the exit with the black cat's robots chasing right behind me. On day two, I was running through the deep jungle as fast as I could. Now Tiger must escape. Oh no, how am I gonna get rid of these guys? I looked around and all I saw were high jungle trees. My fire, I used my fire ability, which made the nearby trees and bushes to catch a blaze. Ah, we will get you. The robots retreated. Ha, take that. But I quickly realized that I celebrated too soon because the fire around me was spreading fast. Oh no, I need to find a way out of here. I tried to run around, but I was blocked off in every direction I went. Smoke was quickly filling the area and I was growing weaker by the second. No, I'm doomed. I looked up and there was an eagle flying around. Your water, tiger. Use it. I listened to the bird and shot my water. This allowed me to create a bunch of openings for myself. Knowing I didn't have much longer, I used my water and left the jungle. On day three, I followed the mysterious eagle to a high mountaintop. I am the scout of the jungle. I have worked very closely with you tigers and know what that horrible black cat has just done to all of them. I know. He has my mom, my people. I need to stop him. In your condition, you don't stand a chance. But as the elemental tiger, you must go out and master each of your elements. Only then will you be your strongest. But how? The eagle then started to fly and I followed him. Hey, where are you going? He led me to an entrance to a scary looking mine shaft. This will lead you to the fire cheetah. Find him and he will help you master your element. But be careful, he is not friendly. If you make it, meet me just across the valley. We have a lot to discuss. The eagle then flew off. Okay, Fozo, meet the fire cheetah and master my fire element. How hard can this be? On day four, I went throughout the scary cave. Hello, fire cheetah. I ventured through it. And while roaming, I noticed the walls started to slowly but surely turn into blackstone and fiery materials. I reached an exit and found myself in a different biome. This one felt really hot and unwelcoming. In front of me, there was a strange outpost of sorts. And is that... It is a fire orb. Is this what I need? I was about to run up and grab it, but I was stopped. Ah, it was the fire cheetah himself. And who might you be? Me? I am the elemental tiger, and I need that fire orb right there. Ah. Yes, you believe this orb here will make you stronger. Well, I will not just give it to you. You must prove yourself worthy. I will do whatever it takes. Good optimism. Let's hope it doesn't kill you. Kill me? The fire cheetah brought me over to a fire-themed racetrack that was surrounding a volcano? If you can complete my race without this volcano killing you, then you can take my fire orb. Do we have a deal?
On day five, the volcano started to erupt. You want me to run through this? Begin. I listened to the cheetah and began to make my way through the course. There was large blocks of lava falling from the sky above me. If I get hit by one of those things, I'm done for. I kept running, and with each second, more fire fell from the sky and started to burn me. Ah! I thought of my mom and knew I had to power through all of it. I did and was able to cross my way through the finish line. Yes. Very well, tiger. Here you go. The cheetah threw me over the fire orb. And because of it, I upgraded. I was now a taller sized elemental tiger with five more hearts. The fire element grew within me and caused me to grow out my very own flames. Because of this, I now had mastered my fire element. What just happened? You have just collected the first of five elemental orbs that are out there throughout the world. And with each one I collect, I get stronger. I need to gain all five so I can take down Shadow and rescue my mom. On day six, I knew I had to tell the eagle the good news. I made my way in search of him. He said to meet him here? Why? I then heard a caw and watched as he flew over and landed in front of me. Good job, Fozo. You've done it. Welcome to the Forgotten Jungle. Many don't know of its presence. I looked around and everything seemed so peaceful. It's because it is. Follow me. I brought you here for a reason. The eagle then walked me over to an area that held five elemental statues. The fire cheetah, the earth panther, the ice saber tooth, the water jaguar, and the lightning lion. On each of them held a pedestal. Wait a minute. I walked up to it and placed the fire orb on the fire statue. This caused the entire thing to glow. I wonder what happens when I bring all five orbs. I decided to make this place my home. I went out and got enough materials to make myself a set of stone tools. With them, I made my very own elemental tiger den. From there, I used my fire to light up pillars around our home. Just for when it turns dark. All of this looks perfect. I didn't celebrate for long, though, because a very weak tiger wolf emerged from a bush. Our colony has fallen. Oh my goodness. I need to find out what happened. On day seven, I followed the tiger wolf's tracks until I found a destroyed looking wolf camp. Who could have done something like this? <coughs> Ah! Oh my, uh, are you okay? Those mechs, they came by and destroyed everything. We know about information on where the panthers live, but none of us budged. Uh. Wait, the Earth Panther. Look, I'm trying to stop these guys. If you can take me to these panthers, it could help me out a lot. <coughs> I'd love to, but I'm too weak to show you where it is. I gotta heal first. How can I do that? The fruit of life. It's a healing fruit. Find the elder tree and bring me one. Then I can <coughs> show you where they live. On day eight, I went off deep in the forest. It wasn't long until I came across an opening, which revealed the largest tree I had ever seen. This has to be the elder tree, but wait. It's dead? How come? I walked closer and noticed that I couldn't see any fruit in sight. This box tastes amazing! Who said that? I followed the noise deep underground until I was met with a cave full of ants? At the end of the room lied all of the ancient fruit, but I also noticed that all of these ants were eating away the tree's roots? That's what's killing it. Intruder! You don't look like an ant to me, pal. Listen, what you're doing to this tree, it's wrong. You need to stop. Stop? No way! This is our five-star buffet. I quickly noticed that two more ants were right behind me, blocking the exit. And the trespasser must pay the price! 
Oh, no. The ants then all began to attack. Ah! Alone, they didn't hurt. But in numbers? Different story. Thanks to my new fire upgrades, though, they didn't stand a chance. It wasn't long until I took down most of them, which caused a giant ant to drop down in front of me. You hurt my people. You will pay the price. On days 9 to 10, the large ant king rushed in. Ah! He would shoot out attacks that allowed him to shoot out dirt blocks at me. Ah! Gross! Please, stop! Never! Fine! I used my upgraded fire abilities on the king, which hurt him a lot. He kept shooting and shooting, though. But with one more fire blast, he was down for the count. Yeah, fire is a little stronger than dirt. I won't walked over to the fruits and picked one up. Okay, let's hope this works. I traveled all the way back to the tiger wolf camp and the wolf was waiting in one of the tents. Okay, here you go. Oh, whoa. I feel so much better. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you to the panthers. On days 11 to 12, I was brought to a strange looking sanctuary that rested high up on a mountaintop. Welcome to the Panther's Hideout. Whoa, thanks for showing me this. If you need a safe place to stay at, you can go to my base. Sounds great. The wolf and I parted ways and I made my way inside. It wasn't long until I came across an earthy throne room, but the throne, it was empty. Where is the Earth Panther? I'm right here. I looked over and saw the Earth Panther looking out into the distance at the Elder Tree, but it was now alive? I assume you did this, correct? Yeah, I did. I did all of it just to meet you. I need the Earth Element to help my people. Since you've brought restoration back to the Elder Tree, you have earned it. The Earth Panther was about to give me the Earth Orb, but suddenly, an explosion took place place within his home. We found you. The robots then threw a special bomb at us, which made both the panther and I pass out. On days 13 to 14, I awoke inside of a cage. Ah, where am I? I looked around and was in some sort of prison area. After a second glance, I noticed that this was where all of the cats were being held. Oh my goodness. Ah, the boss is gonna be happy when he gets here. Soon enough, you'll be a house cat. Oh no, the mech walked away. I have to find that Earth Panther and get out of here fast. I noticed the cage I was in was made out of a special type of glass. Okay, Fozo, here goes nothing. I used my fire element, shooting out more heat than I ever had. This caused the glass in front of me to melt down. Okay, now to find the panther. I walked through until I saw an older lady sitting on a chair off in the distance. Oh, Shadow, you're gonna bring me all the house cats in the world. I want them all. Uh, creepy. Psst, Bozo. I turned and saw the Earth Panther in a cell nearby. There you are. Come on. It's time we break out of here. On days 15 to 17, the Earth Panther and I were both escaping the prison. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We need to find a way out of here and fast. Just as he finished his sentence, Shadow dropped down right in front of us. Oh, look what we have here. A panther and an elemental tiger. You both will serve as great new house cats. You, you took my people from me. Everything from me. Silence. You know nothing of what it feels like to be a pet. To be a small, useless cat known only for their bad luck. I will show everyone what it feels like to be small and useless so that you can see exactly what I have gone through. Never. Quick, take this. The Earth Panther threw me over the Earth Orb and I upgraded. I gained five more hearts and had now mastered my Earth Element, causing me to grow my very own stone claws. Whoa. Follow me. Using my new earth claws, the panther and I both drilled down beneath us, allowing us to escape just in time. I'll have you soon enough. In time. In time.
On days 18 to 20, I made it back to base with the Panther. Thank you for everything, Fozo. He left, and I felt accomplished. Afterwards, the Tiger Wolf from earlier walked up to me. Hey, this place looks great. Yeah, but I think it's missing something. From there, I got enough materials to make Tolf his very own wolf tent. I wanted him to feel just at home. While I was doing this, he was making himself his very own farm. I do love me some farming. Excellent. From there, I went to the earth statue and placed the earth orb on the pedestal, causing its activation. Great work, Fozo. You've made great progress. Thanks. While you were out with the Earth Panther, I've been flying around, and I think I may have found the location of the Ice Sabertooth. But beware, it'll be a challenge. On days 21 to 24, I followed Beak's instructions. I ran deep into a stormy tundra. Ah, uh, this place is freezing. It wasn't long until I reached an entrance to a cavern. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. The only way to the Ice Sabertooth is through the frozen caverns. Use your elements, Fozo. Use them. I walked inside and was immediately met with the sounds of whispers throughout the air? Hello? Only those connected with the ice are allowed here. Leave at once. I can't. Not without saving the saber tooth first. Have it your way. The ice specs started to attack. It shot out powerful ice attacks and used its flying to its advantage. Thankfully though, ice is weak to fire. Take this. The ice specs melted away and from it dropped down some shattered ice. With it gone, I continued through the cavern and was met with a large crevice. On the other side of it lied the entryway to the top of the mountain. Using my earth powers, I was able to summon earth platforms underneath my feet so that I can get across. Aha! Okay, Sabertooth, here I come. On days 25 to 28, I reached the top of the ice mountain, and before me was the ice over Sabertooth. Knowing I had to get him out quick, I ran over and used my fire element. This caused all the ice to melt away. <coughs> Uh, what happened? Hey, hey, it's okay. The last thing I remember, I was trying to protect. And then I got frozen and... What were you trying to protect? The Sabertooth was extremely worried and began to run off. Hey, wait, what is going on? He didn't listen though and kept going. What I was trying to protect was my ice orb, but it got taken from me because of this. I was frozen in there for years. Well, listen, I need the ice orb for something much bigger. Who took it from you? It was an ice yeti, one stronger than most. It came by, led that it needed it, and from it led to my eternal prison. Don't worry, I will go and get it. Just point me in the right direction. On days 29 to 32, I made my way over to a large igloo of some sorts. So, an ice yeti lives here? Yep. I did the best I could, making sure not to be heard or spotted. It didn't take long for me to see the ice orb off on a countertop. There it is. Ah, uh, nice ice yeti. Look, I am sorry, but I need that ice orb. What? No, it helps me with my ice cream. Ice cream? That's when I realized the ice orb was placed directly underneath them. Is that keeping them cold? Okay, listen, that orb is very important. I like chocolate. No ice cream, no deal. That's when I realized. The shattered ice. I pulled it out. Uh, here you go. This can help with your ice cream. I handed the item over to the ice yeti, and he agreed to let me take the ice orb. I took it, and because of it, I gained five more hearts. I felt ice spikes growing within me, and now could breathe out ice breath. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, take it and leave. On days 33 to 35, I was walking back to base when I heard some loud hammering in the distance. What is that? I followed the sound and was met with some sort of huge machine. Surrounding it was Shadow's upgraded mech 
forces. They got stronger. It looked like they were in the process of building this entire place up. Right in the center of everything was Shadow. I want this thing up and running immediately. Those dumb felines have no idea what I have in store. Many believe that cats only have nine lives. Well, in time, I shall have infinite! Oh, sir, is nine lives not enough? Enough! Nothing is enough! Soon this machine will transfer all those cats' lives to me, and I will be immortal! Oh my goodness, all of it. It's starting to make sense. If I don't stop him soon, all felines will be gone forever. I have to get stronger. On days 36 to 38, I returned back to base. I looked around, and everything was really starting to come together. I immediately went over and placed the ice orb on the ice statue pedestal. Crystal. Because of this, the entire thing turned blue. Sweet! Three down, two more to go. Bozo, there you are. Things out in the world are starting to get bad. The jungle, the savannah, all the felines are starting to disappear. It's Shadow. His forces are growing stronger by the day. If I don't get strong enough soon, just before I could fully finish my thought, I notice a few jaguars enter my home. What the? It is true. The elemental tiger resides here. Yeah, I do. And what can I do for you? Our home, it's dying. For some reason, all of our water drained out. None of us can drink anything. Our people are extremely weak. That's strange. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna help out. On days 39 to 41, I followed the jaguars to their leader, Jomi, the water jaguar. It wasn't long until we reached their main outpost. And from the looks of things, everything was dying? What happened? No clue. Follow me. I was then brought over to a main throne room, and sitting in the center was the water jaguar himself. Bozo, we've heard all about you. The final defense for us felines. I guess word has been spread, huh? Look around. Our home, our empire, it is dying. And because of it, we're growing weaker and weaker. Jomi brought me over outside and pointed to the river. It was fully drained out. As the water jaguar, without water, I cannot successfully supply my people with the resources they need. If something doesn't change soon. I looked out at all the surrounding jaguars and all of them didn't look so great. I understand. Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to you guys. I know, my dear boy, which is why I shall grant you the water ore if you successfully bring us the water we so much desire. On days 42 to 46, I went off following the drained out river. What could be causing this? <laughs> What was that? I followed the noise and eventually was led straight to a huge dam. This is it. This is what's blocking the water current. It didn't take long for me to notice inside of it was Shadow's newly upgraded robot. Keep fortifying this area. We need his new machine to be fully operational as soon as we can. And with this water, we will have all the energy we need. So that's what this dam is for. If I take it down, not only do I get the water element, but I can stop Shadow's plans. I walked closer and realized how many robots were actually there taking guard. I need backup. What the? Another explosion? Oh, I better go check it out. On days 47 to 50, I followed the noises until I found myself in a neighboring jungle. Wait, a creeper? Hey, who you calling a creeper? I'm a deeper. A what? A deeper, you numbskull. Ah, you got ears or what? Yeah, okay, I got it. What are you doing blowing up like that? Is everything all right? Does it look like I'm all right? Ever since those robo-bozos rolled in and started making their dam, I haven't been able to drink any water. Us deepers need it to stay healthy. And I'm guessing that's why you're blowing up uncontrollably. Uh, yep. Look, if we work together, we can break through the robot's defenses and destroy the dam. With it destroyed, you can go back to the river and drink from it again. Look, I would help you, but as you can see... I can't really control my, uh, explosions, but... But? 
What? There may be an item that could help. If you go deep underground nearby in an explosive mine shaft, you may be able to find just the item I need. Okay, Deeper, you've got yourself a deal. On days 51 to 54, I use my trusty earth abilities to mine deep down underground. Where can I find an explosive mine shaft? It didn't take long until I was met with a cave system. I looked around and this definitely felt like a mine shaft to me, but I don't even know what item I'm looking for. I went off searching room after room until I spotted an item laying in the center. A supercharged gunpowder? This has to be it. I started to make my way over, but accidentally stepped on a pressure plate. Uh-oh. Lava started to break through the walls, and everything started to rumble. Uh, what's going on? Babe, lava, pound, pound. Oh no. The monster started to attack. He used very strong ground slams, which did a lot of damage. But thanks to my earth ability, I was able to mine below and dodge them. Because of this, he started to shoot lava at me. Using my ice ability, I did massive damage to the monstrosity and his magma core. Uh, no! Pound, pound. With the monster defeated, I was able to grab the supercharged gunpowder successfully. With this, hopefully we can take down that dam. On days 55 to 60, I made my way above ground and gave my new deeper friend his gunpowder. Whoa, I feel so strong. I am definitely ready to take on those robots. Sweet. The both of us headed out and were able to catch those robots by surprise. It's the elemental tiger. I fought them off using every element I had. There were a lot, but thanks to the deeper, he was able to take out a large amount at once. Robo bozos! <laughs> At least one of us is having fun. With our strengths combined, those robots did not stand a chance. Hey, thanks for the backup. Of course. We then made our way inside of the dam until we reached the center control room. Do you think you can explode and blow this whole thing up? Uh, yeah, step back. You don't have to tell me twice. I ran out as fast as I could. And within seconds, the entire place blew up. This caused all of the water to flow back down naturally. Awesome! We did it! Thank you, Fozo. You really helped out. Of course. Hey, I guess creepers and cats can get along. I'm not a creeper! On days 61 to 65, I made my way back to Jomi and the Jaguars. It didn't take long for me to realize that everything in the nearby area was completely restored. Whoa! You, you've done it. Our king can't be happier. I was wandering around the newly restored empire when I noticed him admiring the view next to the river. Well, Fozo, you really did it. You saved us jaguars and our whole ecosystem. Yeah, I'm happy to help, but I can't take all the credit. Yeah, but I can. You should have seen those robot idiots go boom. I did all of the work. Is that right? I'm just glad that we slowed down Shadow in the process. Me too, Tiger. Me too. And for your success, take this. The water jaguar then handed me the water orb. I picked it up. And because of it, I felt stronger. I gained five more hearts and began to feel my tail transform. Whoa! Because of this, I now had a cool new water beam ability. Thanks, Jomi. I promise I won't let you guys down. On days 66 to 68, I brought the Deeper back home with me. I appreciate you bringing me. With all of those mech people roaming around, nowhere feels safe anymore. No problem. I went out and got enough resources to build him up his very own Deeper-themed house. And done. I hope you enjoy. This place feels great, Fozo. Thanks. I'm glad to hear that. After, I went over and placed the water orb inside of the water statue, causing it it to light up whoa four statues are complete already just one more to go and i can finally see what happens hey why is there a gross looking creeper inside of our home for the love of goodness i am not a creeper 
Sure. It's a long story. Just then, we heard noises coming from the nearby jungle. Shadow. Wait, is that? Beak and I followed the noises. And sure enough, it was the old lady that I'd seen before. What is she doing here? Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, she is a creepy one. Yeah, I know. Excuse me. We approached the old lady, and she finally noticed us. Oh, my. Aren't you a big kitty? Yeah, yeah. You better give me a good reason why I don't attack you right now. Helping someone like Shadow? Explain yourself. I never meant to hurt all the little kitties. I never meant to hurt any of you. Yeah, don't trust her. She's old and crazy. Wait, you never meant to hurt us? Then why did you keep those tigers in your prison? Those cats... Ah, the kitties. I didn't know who they really were. I didn't know what my dear old Shadow was up to. Well, look where that's gotten us. Your Shadow. He is evil and will stop at nothing to take down every single one of us that isn't him. I know. That's why I was looking for him. He came by and took all the cats away. That is when I found out the truth behind his plans. The truth behind his evilness. Do you have any idea where he took them? Sadly, I don't know. But I did find this after he left. I believe he's trying to speed us his little cat mission of his. With the dam destroyed, I have to find a new power source. The Lightning Kingdom should do. The Lightning Kingdom? Oh no. I have to find it now before he does. On days 72 to 76, Beak and I followed the old lady's book deep within a desert valley. So, the lightning lion lives here? Not exactly. Not knowing what Beak meant, we continued onward until we made it to a mountaintop of sorts. Is that a shrine? Precisely, Fozo. The lightning lion is the most sacred out of the elements. His cloud kingdom can only be visited through this specific shrine. I'm sorry, did you say Cloud Kingdom? Correct, and these stones are our passageway. He flew over and began to give them a closer read. The Earth's water must touch here. Only then will our sacred kingdom appear. Okay, Beak, stand back. I use more energy than I ever had before. Come on, Fozo, come on. The entire area began to rain. Whoa. You can do that? I guess so. Water started to pour throughout all of the stones, which caused the entire area to rumble. In a large flash of light, the giant cloud kingdom was now right there before us. On days 77 to 80, I left Beak and walked up the clouded stairway. It didn't take long until I reached the main gateway of the kingdom. Who goes there? Uh, it's me, Bozo, the elemental tiger. Ah, uh, yes, we know who you are, Fozo, and you are not welcome here! Look, I need to speak with the lightning lion. You guys are all in danger, and I'm the only person that can stop this. Lies! The king here is safe, and you are now officially trespassing. For that, you shall be punished! No, wait! The guard didn't listen, though, and started to attack. He used an incredibly strong lightning blade. Ah! I have to fight back! I did, using all of my elements I'd mastered. Fire, ice, water, you name it. With all of them combined, I could tell that the guard was starting to look very weak. No! Just give up and yield. Ah, fine. You win, Tiger. But be aware, you stand no chance against my king, the Lightning Lion. I guess I'll have to take on those odds. I walked past the guard and roamed through the Lion's Sky Empire until I made it inside of the main lightning room. Sitting up high on a throne was the Lightning Lion himself. You! On days 81 to 85, I was face to face with the lightning lion, and sitting right above his throne was the lightning orb. You dare come to my kingdom, Osman's kingdom? I think both of us know why I did. Shadow, he's- Silence, you puny cat. I know of Shadow and his mission, and to be quite frank with you, I do not care. What? You can't be serious. Us lions are protected and strong 
stronger than everyone else. If anyone is worthy enough to take down that cat, then it would be me. It's not about that. I need the lightning orb. Never. If you want it, you'll have to prove your worth, which I know you don't have. Fine. You want me to prove it? Then it's on. <laughs> the lightning lion walked out of his throne and I followed him until we entered a large coliseum. Wait a minute. Time to prove yourself by fighting me to the death. On days 86 to 90, I was standing in the middle of the Colosseum with the Lightning King before me. Now I will show you the true might of the Lightning Cats. The horns sounded off. Osman started to hit me with bolts of searing hot lightning energy. Ah! He was really strong, but I knew in order to save my family and all the cats, I needed to win. I began using my new water beam on him. You think a little water can hurt the king of the clouds and the sky? You really thought you could stay up here in this castle and just let all cats suffer while you looked down on us? You're a coward, Osman. Who are you to call a king a coward? I focused all of my elemental energy until I built up enough to send out my most powerful attack yet. Ah! It's over. Just <coughs> finish it. <coughs> No, Osman, I won't. This duel is useless. We're in this war together, not apart. I am sorry, young one. I have <coughs> let my power blind me to the realities <coughs> below my castle. Here, take this. The king handed me the lightning orb. Because of this, I gained five more hearts and felt lightning surge throughout my body. I grew larger and my eyes transformed into lightning bolts. I did it. I mastered my lightning element. On days 91 to 94, I made it back home with the last and final elemental orb. I did it. I noticed all four statues that were lit up. Time to find out what the final one does. I walked over and placed the lightning orb on the statue, causing everything to light up. Because of this, a large elemental beam shot up straight from my base. Whoa, what is happening? I started to float, and from it, I fully upgraded. I gained 10 more hearts, grew in size, and now had an elemental staff. I shot it out, which sent out full elemental beams at will. Whoa, Fozo, you've done it. You are now the full elemental tiger. Talk about strong. Thank you, guys. I mean, for everything. Without you, I don't think I could have done this. Any of it. Just then, a large rumble began to fill the area, followed by a siren. Oh no. Shadow's machine. Well, it's not over yet. You'll have to stop Shadow. If you don't right now, you will never die, Fozo. I know. Come on, guys. Let's take him down together. On days 95 to 99, I followed the sounds of the machine with my friends until we reached a clearing. Oh no. Shadow's machine? It's fully operational and guarded by countless robots. I looked over and saw all of the cat tigers. I have to save them. I then noticed Shadow up high, watching over everything. Yes! Within minutes, these cats' lives will all soon be mine! Hurry! We have to stop him! Let's go! Together, all of us pushed into battle. I used every element that I could, taking out groups of robots at once. Tolf used his wolf-biting attacks to help him out as well. And and Beak shot down heavy attacks from above. All together, we were really weakening the forces. Fozo, the cats! You're right! I ran over and broke all the cats out of their cages. Fozo? Mom! You have to stop that cat. Only then we will be freed. You don't have to tell me twice. I looked up and far above on his machine was Shadow standing there waiting for me. On day 100, I made my way on top of the machine. It's over, Shadow! No! No! It can't be! All my life, I've had nothing! Nothing! I won't let someone like you take it from me! Wait! Shadow didn't listen, though, and rushed in to attack. I fought back, using all of my elements against him. With his large machine by his side, though, he was extremely tough. Every punch he dealt took so many hearts away from me. Ah! Please, listen. You don't have to do this. You know nothing. I can help you. You could be more without hurting everyone. Shut up. 
Just then, Shadow hit me much harder than before, and I felt weaker than ever. Ah! You don't know what it's like to be nothing but bad luck! To be nothing at all! All my life! That is what I was faced with! I can't go back! I can't! I will be a god among felines! And it starts with all of your deaths! No! I got up and fought harder than I ever had before! Punch after punch, element after element, I couldn't let Shadow win! I had to save the felines! No! No! I then shot out my elemental staff, which caused Shadow and his machine to explode. I'm sorry, Shadow. It didn't have to be this way. With him gone, all of the cats turned back into tigers, and all of my people could finally live in peace. On day one, I spawned in as a baby tiger. Why is it so hot? I looked around and found myself in a cage with other tigers. We were over a large pit of lava. I then spotted my mom right next to me. Mom, what's going on? Bozo, gorillas have turned on us tigers. But why? Suddenly, a large silverback gorilla came out in front of the cage. My name is Isar, and I am king of the gorillas. For too long, tigers have ruled the jungle, causing my species to be pushed aside like we are nothing. Now, it is our time to rule. Drop all tigers in the lava. No! It is you that is destined to live on for us and reunite the jungle. I love you, son. Before I could respond, we were dropped in the lava, causing all the other tigers to die. I then pulled myself out and was in complete shock. Why am I still alive? My fur changed into a fiery red color, becoming a baby fire tiger mom no you will pay for this i promise you i'm gonna avenge my fellow tigers impossible how are you still alive seize him uh-oh a group of gorillas came out and began to chase me i need to get out of here on day two i was running as fast as i could why do the gorillas hate my kind i need to find out more i then couldn't hear the gorillas anymore i think the coast is clear <laughs> Ah! A gorilla appeared in front of me and scared me. Oh, oh, oh. There's no running from Esau. You're coming with me. The gorilla charged at me, and out of pure instinct, I swiped at him with fire. Whoa. Because I was now a fire tiger, I was granted a fire sword that gave me a fire slash ability. He kept on attacking me, and I was in a lot of pain. I'm too weak to face this guy. I only had five hearts. Anger started to build up within, and suddenly, I roared, and a giant fire tiger head came out of my body. It covered the entire area. What was that? I can't believe I did that. I looked and saw jungle trees burning around me. I caused all of this destruction with one attack? I never want to do that again. <laughs> you monster. I turned around to see the gorilla was gravely injured. You should leave the jungle just like the other tigers. This land belongs to Isar and the gorillas now. There are more tigers still alive? I knew that it was my job to find them and reunite the jungle once again by stopping these gorillas. But where do I even start? I continued running out of the jungle when all of a sudden... Help! Somebody help! I followed the screams to something trapped behind some wood. I quickly mined all of the wood that was trapping him, and a striped cat came out of the wreckage. Hey, thanks! Quick, follow me. And eventually, the two of us reached a forest far away from the fire. Appreciate the save. The name's Felix. It's nice to see another fellow tiger helping his people out. Tiger? I'm sorry, but you're clearly not a tiger. You're just a cat with stripes. Don't say that. I'm more than just a cat. I'm just as strong as a tiger. I know it. Uh, okay, Felix. I'm Fozo. It's nice to meet you. As two tigers, we decided to stick together. Using the wood I collected earlier, I made a crafting table and created a set of wooden tools. Felix came up and told me that he collected some stone. He gave them to me, and I used them to upgrade my tools into stone tools. Now that we had enough materials, we found an area just outside of the jungle to build a nice little base. The two of us built ourselves some small dents to make it feel like home. That's when an idea 
marked. This would serve as a safe haven for all future tigers that I find. That night, I quickly caught my new friend up on what had happened to me. I know about Isa, but I didn't think he would start his jungle takeover this soon. I've never seen a fire tiger before. You must be very important with uh, everything going on. I told him that I heard about other tigers being outside of the jungle, and Felix heard that some tigers went up into the mountains not far from base. If you are going to find any tiger, I promise you it'll be there. On day four, I was venturing out into the world until I finally found the mountain that Felix told me about. This was a high mountain's peak, but luckily, tigers are great climbers. I finally reached the top, but I didn't see any of my kind anywhere. Where could they be? Eventually, I saw a tiger standing over the edge of the mountain. Hey, finally! So the rumors of the fire tiger were true after all. You have reason! Rumors? What are you talking about? Suddenly, we heard the sound of gorillas not far behind. Oh no! They finally found this place! There's no time to explain, but take this! The tiger handed me a map, and the sound of gorillas got even closer! You have no way of understanding this now, but you are far too important to die today! Go! Find the four royal tigers! They are the key to making you stronger! The gorillas appeared in front of us, and the tiger told me to run! Leave! Now! I reluctantly did as the tiger asked, and ran down the mountain while he fought the gorillas! It didn't take long for the tiger to be completely overrun. No! It was my fault that the tiger died, but I had to take responsibility and follow the map he's given me. I promise, your death won't be in vain. On day five, I followed the map and it seemed to lead me into a large cave. I went inside and I spotted some iron. I didn't mind all of it, but when I held it, something strange happened. It automatically smelted all of it. Cool. I guess being made out of fire has its perks. I quickly used the iron to craft myself a brand new set of iron tools and left the cave. This should come in handy. The map continued to lead me to the first royal tiger. I wonder what royal tigers are. I then came across a fairly large castle and felt strangely drawn to it like it was calling out to me i went inside knowing that the royal tiger had to be here hello anyone home i continued walking and noticed a large white tiger was there waiting for me he seemed different and intimidating hello Fuzu. i am tigris one of the four great royal tigers I have been waiting for you. Me? What's so special about me? As the fire tiger, you will unite the jungle once again and free it from Esau's reign of tyranny. Well, how am I supposed to do that? I do not have an answer for that, but I do have something for you. Tigress brought me to another room and revealed a weird-looking enchantment table and realized that that was a thing calling out to me. I walked towards it, and suddenly an orb appeared. I collected the orb and was upgraded into a full-sized fire tiger. Now, I had 15 hearts and felt much stronger than before. I invited Tigris to come back with me so that he can help me grow stronger. He agreed, and the two of us began to leave his castle. Tigris and I left to find that the place was completely surrounded by Isar's gorillas. Look, it's the fire tiger. Get him. Great. It looks like Isar still wants to capture me. Well, it won't be easy this time. A gorilla charged at me, and I slashed him with my fire claws, engulfing him in flames. Whoa, I really have gone stronger. Take this! I jumped at another and used my claws to easily burn him away. You guys can't underestimate me now. Ow! A gorilla hit me from behind and took a few of my hearts away. I can't underestimate these guys either. I dodged his attacks and finished him off with my fire claw. That was the last of them, and Tigris came out to see if the coast was clear. Everything's okay. Do you know why the gorillas hate the tigers so much? I might know some information about that, but let's talk in a more secure location. Location. Agreed. The two of us left the savanna and headed back to base. On day seven, Tigris and I returned and quickly went to work building him a new home. I used the resources that I collected and built him a den similar to his old one next to mine. I wanted him to feel just at home. Bozo, you're back. Looks like you brought Tigris along with you. Wait, how do you know about Tigris? I know everything about Tigris. He's one of the four royals. Wow, uh, talk about being a fanatic. I also know that Tigris love fish. The cat showed me that he made a little fishing outpost so that we could have a source of food. Wow, thanks, Felix. No worries. Us tigers gotta stick together, right? Yeah, right. I then walked over to go check on Tigris, and he was thankful for his new home. No problem. Now, you said you had information about the gorillas? Ah, yes. Esau 
I actually used to know his father. Wait, really? Yes. Esau's father was one of the most peaceful gorillas in all the jungle. The animals all got along with each other thanks to him. Esau loved his father and considered their bond nearly unbreakable. But that all changed after a tragic incident took place during the war. War? What war? Tigris told me that that was all he knew. Everything else was too hazy for him to remember. Hmm. A war, huh? Well, thanks for the info, Tigris. You should get some rest. It's getting late. The next morning, I heard a loud commotion outside. I made my way over and can hear the cries of jungle animals. Isar was there, ordering a group of small gorillas around. Find the rest of the jungle mobs and capture them on sight. Once they're captured, then our rule shall begin. There were cages full of the creatures of the jungle. He's not only hurting tigers, he can't be doing this. These animals did nothing wrong. Isar began to leave, and I thought that it would probably be best not to fight him yet. He looks strong. Once he was gone, I came out of hiding. I charged at the gorillas and took them out with my enhanced fire claws. A few more attacks, and I was able to take all of them down but one. One. All that's left is you now. So what are you gonna do? The small gorilla was clearly afraid of me and began to ran back inside of the jungle. Yeah, you better run. I gotta get better at that. I used my claws to free the animals and told them that they were safe. Safe, huh? How are we safe after the gorillas destroyed all of our homes? I felt bad and decided to build them a campsite to give them a temporary shelter. This will do until I take care of the gorillas. The animals thanked me for my help and a parrot told me that it's been a while since they've seen a tiger. The last time I've seen one was a strange looking tiger somewhere off in the desert. The desert, huh? That might be where the next royal tiger is. On day Days 9 to 10, I looked everywhere in the desert until I reached a strange looking temple. The temple seemed to be themed off of a tiger. This must be where the royal tiger is. I reached the entrance of it, but for some reason, I couldn't get inside. Why won't these blocks break? I looked over and saw a book next to the ground. I picked it up and the book said that I needed a certain item for the doors to open. The book read, Return to me the lost totem of the tiger. Only then then shall I grant you access. The lost totem of the tiger? I wonder what that is. I know everything about tigers. I think I know exactly who would know about this totem. Let's see if you really know everything about tigers, Felix. Sir, what are you doing here? My king, it's the fire tiger. He's gotten stronger. <laughs> if the fire tiger is upgrading, then so will I. You want to play with fire, Fozo? Fine! It's time to give you a very cold awakening! I returned to base and noticed that my house was a little small for my current size. I think it's time for an upgrade. I collected more materials and used them to make myself a bigger tiger den. There, that ought to do it. Now, to go see Felix. I met with him outside and asked if he knew anything about the lost totem of the tiger. Ooh, I've heard many stories about that totem. Follow me, I'll take you. We started walking towards the location. Wait up, isn't it just a regular totem of undying or something? Totem of undying, are you dying? Um, that lost tiger totem is one of the former ancient tigers who passed away many, many years ago. Jeez, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to show any disrespect. Many don't know where the totem could be, but thankfully, I've done lots of research on my fellow tigers. Wow, you really know your tiger history. On days 13 to 14, Felix and I came across a large hole in the ground. Are you sure this is the place? Of course it is. Trust me, everything will be fine. All right. As we went further down, Felix told me that the totem was located deeper inside. While we were walking, I noticed some iron and used my iron pickaxe to mine it and make myself an iron chest plate and helmet. This should keep me safe from the attacks of Isar's minions. Uh, don't worry about safety, okay? This cave's been here for years. Even if something showed up, I'd just beat him up with my tiger-like reflex. Ah! Hey, leave him alone. I lunge at the spiders and use my claws to turn them into ashes. <laughs> Good job back there. I, uh, I totally had them, by the way. Yeah, sure you did. We continued through a grove and eventually reached a small shrine that was holding a strange totem. I went over and collected it. This is it. This is the tiger's totem. And what's this? There was a wall behind the shrine that displayed something. Is that supposed to be me? It says that the fire tiger will bring unity to the entire jungle through its pure will. So everything that's happening right now 
was meant to be. Wow, that's a lot to take in. But it's time to bring this totem back and meet with the second royal tiger. I'll meet you back at base, Felix. I returned to the temple, and once I was at the doors, I dropped the tiger totem in front. In a large flash, the doors disappeared. Nice. I walked inside, and it seemed to be completely empty. I couldn't find the royal tiger anywhere. Hello? Is anyone in here? Eventually, I spotted a dungeon and decided to check it out. When I entered, I walked through a hallway and down some steps, where there was another tiger waiting for me. Hello, Fozo. So, I'm guessing you're the second royal tiger, right? I am. My name is Cleo, and I know why you're here. I told Cleo that I wanted to become stronger so that I could return the jungle to what it once was. This day was destined to come, born from a pure tragedy. Listen, Tiger, the second upgrade won't be easy as the first one. You must find the Volcano of Flames. Volcano of Flames? Doesn't sound that welcoming. Look, I know your home is this place, but I promise you, if you don't come with me, the gorillas will find you and harm you. Join me at my base. That way, you can stay safe. Cleo agreed to join, and we both began to leave the desert. On days 17 to 18, Cleo and I were on our way back to base when we noticed something strange along the horizon. The two of us reached a desert village that was completely covered in ice. Even the villagers were trapped. What is this? This is strange. I have a bad feeling that Izar may have something to do with this. But how would he? He's only a gorilla. Don't you think it's strange that as soon as the gorilla found out about a fire tiger, suddenly this happens? You're right. I mean, this is the desert. The hottest biome there is. This isn't natural. I need to get these poor villagers out of the ice. I use my fire claws to melt down the ice and free the villagers. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tiger. I thought I was gonna be frozen forever. My nose was starting to feel like a frozen popsicle. I asked the villager how they ended up in the block of ice, and he told us that he had no idea. I was out just minding my own business when all of a sudden, I couldn't move at all. Weird. Me and Cleo both agreed that we needed to hurry and find the rest of the upgrades. Cleo and I returned to base and got to work on building her a new home. I decided to build her a desert-themed den to make it feel like her old place back at the temple. Thank you, Fozo. This home will most certainly suffice. No no problem. I'm glad that we can stand up against that evil gorilla. Isar's not actually evil. He's just misunderstood. But the way he's acting doesn't seem like it. Shh. Felix, go on, Cleo. The jungle throughout the years knew nothing but peace and happiness. That is, until the players started showing up. Many years ago, the Tigers went through a war with many different players. They were trying to take the jungle for themselves and strip it of its resources as players tend to do. Tigers were the sworn protector of our biome and did what they needed to in order to protect it. Isar's father also took note of this and helped defend the land to keep his son safe. Son, stay here. I'm gonna make sure these players stay away from our home. Dad, it's too dangerous. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Who goes there? Dad, no! Isar's father suffered a grave injury that led to his death, and poor Isar watched it all unfold. But why does Isar hate tigers? It doesn't make sense. I need to go talk to him. You sure about that, Fozo? Isar might kill you. Maybe I can reason with him or something. Look, I have to at least try, okay? He's hurt. His own father died in front of him. If I can end things peacefully with Isar and unite the jungle the way it should be, then I'm gonna do it. On days 21 to 23, I made my way into the jungle and noticed that it had changed a lot since I'd last been here. Everything felt dark, dreadful, and cold? I also noticed that it was snowing. That is strange. It never snows in the jungle. I continued going further inside and spotted more cages full of the jungle's animals. I freed them, and that's when I spotted a gorilla temple off in the distance. Once I reached the entrance, there were two small gorilla guards waiting for me. Halt! Who goes there? I am Fozo, the fire tiger, and I would like to speak with Isar.
Isar. Bozo? Isar walked out of the entrance and approached me. I can tell that something had changed about him since our last encounter. How amusing that you have brought yourself to me just to die. I'm not here to fight you, Isar. I just want to talk. The gorilla didn't listen to me, though, and knocked me back with a blast of ice. Whoa, what was that? While you were out getting your upgrades, I decided to make a few upgrades of my own. The attack was so brutal that it took half of my hearts away. Stop this. I don't want to fight you. I've come here to make peace. It's too late for peace now. The tigers will pay. They took everything from me. Isar hit me with another ice attack, and I only had a few hearts left. I was too weak to run. I won't kill you yet. I want the entire jungle to see you die. On days 24 to 26, I was locked up inside some kind of dungeon. Isar won't even listen to me. Is he too far gone to reason with? I need to get out of this cage. I looked next to me and saw a parrot frozen in ice. I need to get him out of here. He could freeze to death. I used my fire powers to free the parrot and warmed him back up. Thanks for the fire. Who would have thought a tiger would help someone like me? I used to hate the tigers, but I hate the gorillas more. They're ruining the jungle. I don't know what the tigers did to you to hate them, but I'm different. I want to help the jungle and make it peaceful again. Wow, well, since you freed me from the ice, I think I can help us get out of here. Ollie was small enough to fly through our cage and managed to open it up from the outside. Wow, thanks, Ollie. Now I just need to find the Volcano of Flames and get stronger. Volcano of Flames? Actually, I know where that is. Really? Ollie told me the volcano's location, and I offered him a place to stay at the base. Don't worry, Ollie. You should be safe there. On days 27 to 29, I arrived at the volcano, and it was a massive area that had lava and fire all around it. This must be the place. I walked up to the edge of the volcano and stared at the lava in front of me. All I can see when I saw it was my mother and the tigers. Instead of giving in to sadness, this gave me more determination than ever and a reminder as to why I'm trying to help the jungle. I eventually reached the top and met an individual there. I could tell that this person was strong. I am the guardian of this upgrade. If you wish to obtain it, you must defeat me in battle. He immediately knocked me away with a fire attack. Ouch! I guess I have to do what he said. Defeat him in battle. I tried to attack him back, but every time I got close, he kept using more of his fire abilities on me. Ugh, this guy's tough. He was getting ready for another attack, but I was too fast for him and used my fire claws to damage him. He tried to fight back, but I slashed him down with my claws to finish him off. The fire guardian dropped an item. I equipped it and immediately gained 10 more hearts. I was also now completely covered in fire. Sweet! I tested out my new upgrade and could do the same attack that the fire guardian used. Now I was that much closer to obtaining all of my upgrades. On my way back to base, I knew that fight with that fire guardian was a little too close for comfort. I needed to better protect myself. I went inside of a nearby cave and noticed that it was deep, so maybe I can find better materials inside. I managed to reach a point inside where I found Found a few diamonds. I then used my pickaxe to get the material. It was enough to upgrade to a set of diamond tools. It's not armor, but it'll do for now. I found some more iron inside of the cave and collected it to finish off my iron armor set. I then returned to base and noticed that Felix was finishing up on building Ollie's new home. Thanks, Felix. You've been really helpful and made me feel welcome at this base. Eh, don't mention it. One of the tiger's biggest jobs is to protect his family. You're part of the family now. Felix saw me walk into the base and came over to welcome me. It looks like you got another upgrade, Fozo. That's great. Yep. I'm halfway there to being a fully upgraded fire tiger. Yeah, don't let that power give you a big head. Pretty soon I'll be just as strong as you two. We'll see, buddy. We'll see. On days 33 to 35, I decided to head out and start looking for clues into finding the last royal tiger. During my journey, I came across a plains biome that was covered in ice and snow. This was just like the desert village back then. Isar's name was written all over it. His power is increasing just like mine. I made my way through the now icy plains and spotted somebody trapped in a block of ice. I walked up and realized that it was a gorilla? Huh? Why would Isar freeze one of his own kind? I used my fire claws to free the gorilla and melted some of the ice in the area away. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of there. Uh, here, I think this is part of my gratitude. The gorilla dropped some diamonds in front of me and that was enough to craft myself a diamond chest plate. Hey, Thanks for the diamonds, but why were you trapped? Follow me. I'll explain more once we get somewhere safe. 
The gorilla and I made it to a small outpost, and I stopped at the entrance. This isn't some kind of trap, right? The gorilla just told me to trust him, and I guess I had no other option. I went inside to find that it was only us and a few other gorillas. This is my family, and we've been hiding out here to stay away from Isar and his madness. The gorilla explained that he was for Isar until he found out some of his true motives. I didn't agree to what he was doing. I tried to stop him, but that ended up with me being frozen. That's not good. All jungle life is at stake, Fire Tiger. Isar is planning to strip away everyone's freedom with his new ice powers. I couldn't let my family go through that. Family is everything to me. Don't worry. I'm gonna stop him, I promise. Isar knows where the third royal tiger is too. You have to get there before his men do. The gorilla gave me the royal tiger's location, and I thanked him for his help. I promise you, I won't let you down. On days 39 to 41, I made it to the third royal tiger's location and found myself in the middle of a swamp biome. The gorilla mentioned that the royal tiger was hiding out in a cave, one that looked like a part of the swamps. When I reached it, I noticed that it was greatly damaged. There was fire all inside. Oh no, was I too late? Hey! I ran further in and spotted the royal tiger stranded by gorillas. Fire tiger, are you finally here? Please come save me. There were a lot of gorillas blocking my path to reach him. I guess I've got no choice. It's the fire tiger. Get him. And I prepared myself for a battle. A gorilla tried to attack me, but I used my fire claw to easily take it down. I also used my new fire ability and was able to take a few more of them. More gorillas ran into the cave though, and I was starting to get overwhelmed. I couldn't fight all of them at once. I then heard the third third royal tiger scream out in the distance. No! I have to do something! Suddenly, another huge fire tiger came out of me again, defeating all surrounding gorillas. No, I didn't mean to use it, but I was so angry. I had no control. I ran outside just to see the third royal tiger was gone. I was too late. That ability I used scared me. It's too powerful for me to control, even right now. I needed to get stronger. I noticed some diamonds were inside of the cave, so I collected them and had enough to fully equip my diamond armor. That should protect me better from Isar's minions and hopefully prevent me from not being able to control my attacks again. Ozo, are you in there? I know that meow anywhere. I went out and saw Felix was there waiting for me. What are you doing here? I'm here to help you out, but as a spy, I was keeping an eye on Isar and happened to find where they took the royal tiger. That's great, Felix. You know where he's being held? They took the royal tiger to the most secure place in all the jungle. And that place is so guarded, it would see you a mile away. It's a risk that I'm gonna have to take. Now show me the way. Felix reluctantly agreed, and I followed him out of the swamps. On days 45 to 47, Felix led me to a large prison with gorillas guarding the entrance. Are you sure about this, Fozo? Look, I have no choice, okay? Now go back to the base and wait for me. Felix wished me luck, and I rushed inside. Uh, did you watch that new Fozo video last week? Yeah, well, I heard it was amazing, so I had to check it out, and, uh... ah! I used my fire claws to take down the first gorilla, and before another one could react, I used my second upgrade to defeat him. If I want to do this successfully, I have to stay quiet. Hey, I'm here to get you out. Thank goodness. I thought those gorillas were going to kill me. I quickly got the third royal tiger out of the cage, and the two of us ran outside of the prison and made our way out of the jungle. While leaving, I saw Isar's base and noticed that it seemed different than last time. What's up with that? The royal tiger told me that he overheard the gorilla's plan. Isar is going to freeze over the entire jungle. This would only allow gorilla lives to be free and prioritized. Everyone except their own species? That's what the other gorilla meant by using his ice powers. I couldn't let that happen. I needed to hurry and find my other upgrades. The third royal tiger told me that his name was Bangle. We arrived at the base and began working on his new home. I decided to make his home feel more like the swamp and made it out of oak logs. I even added a small pool for him to swim inside. Thank you, Fozo. I love my new home. You're welcome. While I was with them, I happened to find this. Bangle then dropped a book and it was a diary that belonged to Isar. I opened it and began to read it. The diary told me about the events that took place during the war between the tigers and the players. Esau wrote that his father hid him away from the battle to keep him safe, just like Cleo told me. I watched as my father left to go defend the jungle, and that's when it happened. Who goes there? It was a tiger's fault! My father was taken away from me because of a tiger! Dad, please stay with me. Please. Son, it's up to you now. Do what you must. Protect the jungle. Make me 
ground. No! So it wasn't a player that killed Isar's father. It was a tiger. Why would a tiger do this? If that's true, then that's the reason why Esau hates us so much. Yeah, but that doesn't explain why he's treating the other animals so poorly too. Why does he hate them? Bengal doesn't know, but he believes that I'll find out soon enough. Finding my third upgrade was more important right now, and Bengal gave me its location. With that, I headed out of base. On days 51 to 53, I reached the location of my third fire upgrade. It was deep underground. I knew I had to be careful. There's no doubt this place is full of traps. I made my way inside and reached the site of my third fire upgrade. There you are. I went over and grabbed it and immediately felt myself getting stronger. Nice. Now I have five more hearts too. But suddenly the entire dungeon started to shake. Oh no. What's happening? I ran as fast as I could when I ran into a giant crocodile. You dare enter my domain. Uh, I was sent here to make myself stronger. This will help all jungle animals. I don't care. I am safe underground here. You shall die for your decision. Wait, no. The crocodile didn't listen though and began to attack. Here goes nothing. I used my new ability and it sent out a giant aerial fire attack. It hurt the crocodile enough for him to run away. That's right. You better run. With this new ability, I am sure I can beat Isar and his men. I was going through the world and all of a sudden, I finally found you, Fire Tiger. He looked even more different than before. His fur looked more blue, and I could tell that he was much stronger. Isar, look, I know what happened to your father. It was a tiger, and I'm sorry, okay? Tigers are meant to lead us in the jungle. They are supposed to protect all of us, but no, they only care about themselves. Isar <laughs> tried to hit me again, but I dodged it and countered with my new upgrade. But Isar was completely unaffected. Has he become too cold for me to melt? Isar managed to hit me with his ice powers again, and I couldn't move for a moment. Ah! This gave him enough time to lay a critical blow on me. Ouch! There has to be more to all this, Isar. All of the jungle animals don't have anything to do with this. After my father was killed, I realized something. My father's death showed me who the real villains are. Only us gorillas know how things should be. Esau was about to strike me again, but I dodged it and summoned fire all around him. I know there is still good in you, but for now, you're blinded by rage. While trapped, I began to escape and make my way home. On days 57 to 59, I returned to base completely exhausted. Felix ran over to me and was glad to see that I was okay. I need to stop him, Felix. Yeah, have some fish. He dropped me some fish and I ate them to replenish my strength. I then looked at the small fishing farm and realized that we're gonna have to make that a little bigger if we wanna feed all of our guests. Felix and I both got to work and we made the small fishing farm much larger. Now, hopefully more people can fish at once. I met with the three royal tigers and they told me that they were proud of what I've accomplished so far. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but you're really making progress on saving the jungle. Agreed. More animals are hearing about your legend and are beginning to have hope. Thanks, guys, but Isar still needs to be stopped. We have to find a way to make peace. In order to do that, I need to find the last royal tiger. I might know where she's hiding. Hopefully, Isar and his gorillas haven't found her. Bangal told me the location, and I made my way over. I made my way through the jungle and remembered what Bangle told me. You can find her deep within a certain jungle, but remember, this jungle isn't ordinary. I wonder what's so special about it. I reached the location and realized what Bangle was saying. This jungle was completely surrounded by bamboo. I've never seen anything like this before. It was nice and peaceful, completely unaffected by Isar's ice. Once I reached it, I noticed that some of the jungle animals were also here. A lot of them looked like they were hiding out. What are you guys all doing here? We retreated from our jungle after Esau began his conquest. Most of us lost our families. The jungle isn't what it used to be. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do what I can to make things right. The animals thank me for that. And I turned around only to see the fourth royal tiger. She was a large white tiger who gave off a majestic and peaceful presence. I am Shiva. You must be Fozo. I am. And thank you for taking care of all these animals. Shiva told me that it's a tiger's responsibility. Well, I wholeheartedly agree. Look, I need your help to save the jungle. Now that 
that you have me, you almost have everything you need to reach your final form. On days 63 to 65, I returned with Shiva back to base, and the two of us worked on her new home. We tried to make it look exactly like her old one. I even added bamboo around it and used some glowstone she had on hand to light it up. Good to see you again, Shiva. Same here, Bengal. Though, I wish we were meeting on better terms. Now that I have all of you guys, what am I supposed to do? You need all the royal tigers with you in one place to upgrade to your final form. Okay, well, let me just go grab the other two, and then we should be good to go, right? Not necessarily. There's still one more item that you need in order to activate your final form. The Lost Fire Claw. Huh, what's that? Ooh, I know. The Lost Fire Claw helps its user unleash their inner strength. Ugh, of course you know, Felix. Where do I find it? The Lost Fire Claw can be found deep within a fortress inside of the Nether. Once you get there, you'll find a secret room that houses the claw. Then there's no time to lose. Before I left, I saw Shiva walk away. I could tell that she was hiding something. Hey, is everything all right? I just... I feel responsible for most of what's happening. But why? The gorillas are the ones who are responsible. It's up to all of us tigers to fix that. But I am the one that caused the gorillas to turn on us. Wait, are you? I am. I still remember the day like it happened yesterday. I heard a noise coming from the jungle. Players had recently hurt my family, and I was blinded by pure rage. And without thinking twice, I jumped out at the noise and kept swinging until I realized what I had done. I am the tiger that killed Esau's father, and I regret it every second. And I still breathe. Shiva, I don't know what to say. You mustn't say anything. It is up to you now, Bozo. Reunite the jungle. It is your destiny. I journeyed across the world until I stumbled upon a cave entrance. Felix said that I could find a good amount of obsidian where the water meets lava. I went inside the cave and I couldn't find anything at first, but luckily it was so big. So I was able to find some eventually. I used my diamond pickaxe to mine as much obsidian that I could find. After leaving the cave, I then found a nice area to start working on the portal. Now all I need to do is light it with some flint and steel. Oh, wait a minute. I'm already made out of fire. I used my third fire ability and the portal was able to activate. Uh, I love love being a fire tiger. Time to go find that fire claw. On day 69 to 71, I found myself inside of the nether. I knew that I had to search all around, but where? Once you get there, you'll find a secret room that houses the claw. That's right. I needed to find a fortress. I started my journey across the nether and found a large red building. Is that supposed to be it? I walked throughout the tower and searched everywhere for the claw, but I couldn't find anything. Where could it be? I reached the top and I dodged a fireball. What the? I looked up and came face to face with a large fire dragon. Why did you attack me? You want the fire claw, right? Well, you're You'll have to beat me to get it. If that's what it's gonna have to take, then so be it. I charge at the dragon and try to attack, but he was just out of my reach. He then hit me with a fireball and took a few of my hearts away. Good thing this armor lessened the damage. Looks like you're a worthy competitor, but I won't let you out alive. Time to finish this. I don't think so. I activated my third fire ability, which instantly took him down. Whoa, that ability is stronger than I thought. In a flash of light, the fire claw was in front of me. Once I grabbed it, I knew that I had to get out of this place and bring it back to the Royal Tigers immediately. I returned back to the overworld and ah! Esar sped by and hit me with one of his attacks. You think you're the only one busy getting upgrades? You escaped me last time, but that will not happen again. You're coming with me, Bozo. Oh no. I used my second upgrade on him and the blow pushed him away. Your fire is still too weak to burn me. You are pathetic. The gorilla blasted me with an ice and took 10 of my hearts out. He's gotten stronger too? How is this possible? I relentlessly sliced Esar with my fire claws, trying to damage him, but it wasn't any good. He didn't even flinch. He just knocked me back with his gorilla strength, and I was low on hearts. I still can't beat him. I need to escape. Before I could run, Isar covered me with his ice powers, trapping me in a block of ice. Now that I have you, my plan will finally be fulfilled. On day 75 to 77, I woke up and found myself inside of a cage. What happened? And where am I? I was surrounded by gorillas, and they were cheering Isar on. Behold, the jungle's last hope will finally be gone, and the time of the gorillas shall begin. No, 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 stop. You don't have to do this. Oh, 
but I do, and I will. I thought I was done for, when all of a sudden, Felix ran him from behind and knocked Isar off a hill. Talk about pure tiger strength. Take that. Felix, I didn't waste any time. We both made a run for it, but we were stopped to see a bunch of gorillas in our way. I dodged the first one's attack and used my claws to take him down. Then I used my second upgrade to take down a few more. Oh, Felix, you shouldn't be here. More of the gorillas started showing up, so I tried to use my third ability to burn them away, but I was running low on hearts, and Felix knew it. We gotta get out of here right now. You are going nowhere. Suddenly, an ice attack got shot out. No! Felix jumped in the way. Felix! Anger built within me to the point where I unleashed another fire tiger. It killed all of the gorillas, leaving only Isar. We will meet again. Oh, come on, buddy. We've gotta get out of here. No, Fozo. I'm not gonna make it. Listen, you have what it takes to save the jungle. I know it. We all do. I just hope I was a hero like you. All I ever wanted to be was a real tiger. Felix? Felix! No! My friend was gone. I promise. The world is gonna know about what you did today. Everyone will. I showed up, and the other royal tigers were outside waiting for me. Bozo, you're back! Thank heavens! Where's Felix? Guys, Felix... He didn't make it. They were all saddened to hear the news. I found a spot at the base and created a memorial for Felix. There, everyone stood and mourned for his loss. You were the bravest and brightest feline I ever met. You always cared about everyone and took care of them. Your passion for tigers knew no bounds. As the head of the Royal Tigers, we hereby deem Felix worthy of being a tiger, and we make him the fifth Royal Tiger. You see, Felix? You were more of a tiger than any of us, and you proved that every day you were alive. I'm gonna miss you, my friend. It's time for the Age of Gorillas to begin! Now, no one can do anything or do any harm, just as things should be. On days 81 to 85, I noticed that my entire base was snowed over. Oh no, this has to be Isar. I then looked over to the Royal Tigers, and they told me that it was time for me to unlock my final form. I needed to go and meet them at the Tiger Ritual Ground. I journeyed across the world and noticed that more of it was covered in snow. Isar is getting stronger by the minute, and he was making sure that everyone suffered his icy wrath. As I made my way towards the ritual site, I saw a camp that was completely covered in ice. I ran up to it and saw jungle animals trapped in cages. They looked like they were all freezing to death. I activated my third upgrade and used my flames to melt all the ice away. Oi, oi, thanks, Fire Tiger. We thought we were a safe distance away from Esau, but I guess we were wrong. I'm sorry, but I don't think anyone is safe as long as Esau is doing as he pleases. The animals told me that the jungle has become a frozen wasteland and the gorillas are the only inhabitants there. I've got to reach the ritual site and reach my final form. Only then Will I be able to reverse all of this? I reached the site and found Shiva was there waiting for me. So, you finally made it, Fozo. Yeah, so this is it, huh? We walked over to the pit of lava and she explained to me that if I wanted to unlock my final form, I needed to bathe in the lava once again. So, I started in lava to become the fire tiger and now I have to go in it to unlock my final form. I guess that makes sense. All four of the royal tigers went at each corner of the lava pit, waiting for the ritual to begin. I guess it's up to me now. I walked up and tossed the lost fire claw inside. Then I knew it was time. Wish me luck. A vision began to run through my mind. I found myself inside of the jungle, but it was quiet and peaceful. A tiger walked up to me and told me that he was my guide to unlocking my final upgrade. I would tell you what your upgrade is, but you already know the answer to that. Flashes of the fire tiger head filled me with doubt. I don't know if I should use this power. It may be too strong for me to handle. I almost burned down the entire jungle the first time I used it. You are the only one who can use this power. If you ever want to unleash that power's full potential, you must accept that it's a part of you. The vision disappeared, and I was outside of the lava pit. I noticed that I gained 10 more hearts and felt way more in tune with my powers. All the tigers agreed that I had become the full-fledged 
Fire Tiger. On days 91 and 94, we were all back at base as I prepared to go save the jungle. Shiva came up and asked if I saw anything while I was in the lava. I quickly explained her my vision. If that is all you need to do, then trust in yourself and you will see this through. Thank you. I'll try to do that. If things go south, make sure you get all the animals to safety. Shiva agreed and hoped that I would reverse all of this. I can tell that she felt really bad about what happened to Isar's father and I knew that it was up to me to make things right. I went over to Bengal's house and met with him. He was worried for my safety but believed that I would be all right. Those gorillas are pretty scary but you can show them how scary us tigers are. Thank you. I then went over to Tigris and Cleo and they both wished me luck on my upcoming battle. All right Felix, this is it. It's time that I go save this jungle. I reached the edge of the jungle, and it was just as I had feared. Isar had turned this once beautiful home into a cold and icy wasteland. I surveyed the area and saw the jungle animals being held captive while the gorillas laughed at them. Please, you can't do this. Oh yeah? And who's gonna stop us? That would be me. I used my fire charge attack to easily take down the gorillas. I then quickly free the jungle animals out of their cages. Get out of the jungle. It's not safe here yet. More small gorillas started to show up and began to surround me. Unfortunately for them, my upgrades have maxed out thanks to the ritual. I unleashed my third upgrade and burned all the gorillas around me. Now, all that's left was Isar. I felt a chilling wind pass by me and knew that was where he was. It was time to finish this. On day 100, I finally arrived at the place Isar was waiting for me. This is your last chance. Please surrender now. Together we can bring peace back into the jungle. Peace, there will only be peace. Once you and the rest of the animals are gone. Isar tried to blast me with ice, but I quickly dodged it. Look, the tiger that killed your father, it was a mistake, an accident. Shut up, stop lying. All tigers shall die. The gorilla was far too gone. I have no choice. I circled around Isar and slashed him from behind with my fire claws. It seemed to finally damage him because he retaliated, but I had to bear the pain. I used my second upgrade on him and knocked him back. Then my third to greatly weaken him. This was it. I have to believe in myself. No! I activated my firehead to finish off Isar, melting all the ice away. I'm sorry, Isar, but it's over now.